Hey, welcome to Tighten Up Today. It's your boy CD back again with another episode. Today I'm going to bring you a quick update on the injury and practice report from Friday's practice and give you a quick rundown of what I believe the final 14 game scores will look like. I'll predict them as well as A-Town and Lund. And then I'll give you a final detailed breakdown of what I believe the Tennessee Titans will do to the Tampa Bay Buccaneers tomorrow at home in Nissan Stadium. Finishing this whole episode off with a bold prediction. But no need to delay. Let's get down to it. All right, welcome back. So for Friday's injury report, Corey Davis, Nate Davis, Jack Conklin, Jarrell Casey, Rashawn Evans, and Wesley Woodyard all were full participants and are now off of the injury report. That's great news. On the other hand, we had one addition to the injury report in Kamala Correa, who was limited yesterday, is now questionable for the game tomorrow. And even worse news, Adoree Jackson, Delaney Walker, Chris Milton and Sharif Finch all did not participate in practice yesterday and are now gone from questionable to out. Um, that's completely out now for Delaney and for Dory Jackson. They will be missed, especially against Mike Evans and Chris Godwin. We can use all hands on deck in the secondary. Dory, get healthy. We want to see you back next week. All right, now, so let's jump into this week's game predictions. But before we do that, let's look at the standings after week six. As you can see, Lund is currently in the lead with a record of 9-4. and A-Town is in second with a record of 4-9. and nine. And I'm giving these two fools a head start in third with a record of 3-10. and 10. Obviously, we skipped week 7, but we're back for week 8. So let's get it. All right, first game on the docket, New York Giants at Detroit. Detroit's favored by 7 points with an over-under of 49 points total. I have Detroit winning this game 31-17. to 17 covering that spread. Chargers at Chicago. Chicago's favored by four points with an over-under of 41. I think Chicago wins this game 20-17, to 17, unable to cover the entire four-point spread. Seattle at Atlanta. Seattle's favored by three and a half with an over-under of 54. That's a lot of points, but I still think that they cover the points as well. Seattle wins this game 34-24. to 24. Remember that Muhammad Sanu just got traded to the Patriots as well. They're missing an offensive weapon in Atlanta. I think that that hurts them. New York Jets playing against Jacksonville Jaguars. Jacksonville is favored by six points with an over-under 41. I have Jacksonville winning this game 16-13. to 13, Not able to completely cover that spread. Not To be honest with you, halfway cover the spread. I think that they win, just not that big. Philly at Buffalo. Buffalo, one-and-a-half point favorite. In Vegas, if you get less than three points, that means that you're really not the favorite. Just remember that. Over under 43 points. I have Philadelphia winning this game on the road 20 to 17. Cincinnati at Rams. The Rams are favored to dog these guys out by 13 points. The over under is 48 and a half. Cincinnati is just bad. I thought the Dolphins were bad. The Bengals are bad. The Rams are winning this game 27 to 13 able to barely cover the spread. It's still the NFL team now. Arizona at New Orleans. They're playing the Aints on the road. Aints are favored by 10 and a half with the over-under of 49. I have the Saints, <clears throat> excuse, me, excuse me, the Aints winning 28 to 24. Broncos at Indy. Indy is favored by five and a half, over-under 43 and a half. I have Indy winning this game 24 to nine. D Denver doesn't find a way into this end zone. Um, Indy has a good defense, but watch that. Carolina at San Francisco. Vegas has the 49ers winning this game by 5.5 points with an over-under of 41.5. I have the 49ers winning this game barely at home, 24-23. to 23. Oakland at Houston. Houston is favored by 6.5 points, 51.5 points total is what Vegas is saying. I think Oakland goes into Houston and shocks the world. Wins this game 31 to 17. I'm sorry, 31 to 27. And Houston takes a loss in the division, which could help us out in the end. Cleveland at New England. New England favored by 13 points with an over-under of 46. New England wins this game 27 to 10. They've been so stingy on defense. Even giving up touchdowns is hard. I think they sneak in, still a touchdown, but they win this game 27 
to 10. Green Bay at Kansas City. Green Bay's favored by four with a 47.5 point over under total. I have Kansas City winning this game 27 to 24. Again, shocking the world here. I think that Pat Mahomes being out is huge. And you read the quarterback guru finds a way to massage Matt Moore into thinking this game through and winning this game somehow 27 to 24 on uh, at home. Monday Night Football, huge game. Not really at all. Actually, it's a trash game. Miami Dolphins flying to Pittsburgh to play the Steelers. Steelers are favored by 14 and a half points with an over-under of 43. I have the Steelers winning this game, obviously, but they're winning only by 11 points, winning 24 to 13. Miami covers that large spread. Come on, Vegas. Tampa Bay versus the Titans the last game. They have us favored by two and a half points. If you recall what I said earlier, anything less than three points when you're at home is not calling you the favorite. So... Let's go in a little bit of detail. They do have the over-under at 46. I think that the stat line looks like this. Ryan Tannehill, 24 for 29, 335 yards, two touchdowns, one interception. Derrick Henry runs the ball 23 times for 71 yards with a touchdown. Deion Lewis runs the ball one time for a measly negative two yards, but he does catch two passes for 16 yards. And Rod Smith, our new running back that we acquired a couple weeks back, finds his way on the stat line, gets two carries for seven yards. Corey Davis has four catches for 86 yards, no touchdowns. A.J. Brown, three receptions, 54 yards, no touchdowns. Tajay Sharp, two receptions, 25 yards, no touchdowns. John U. Smith, three catches, 33 yards, no touchdowns. I still think he has a big game with Delaney being out, blocking, downfield for the run game. We'll see him making some big plays today. Michael Pruitt, our tight end slash fullback, um, wearing that number 85 jersey, will have one reception for 18 yards. And last but not least, Adam Humphreys, nine receptions, 103 yards, and two touchdowns. Massive game, him going against his old squad, the Bucks. Watch and see. So I have the final score again Bucks at Titans. Titans favored by two and a half over under a 46. I say the Tennessee Titans win 24 to 20. That is two Ryan Hill, Ryan Tannehill touchdowns, pass two, and catching both. Adam Humphreys with two touchdowns. Derrick Henry, number 22, with one rushing touchdown and a Cody Parkey field goal to top it all off. Now, it's that time of the week we all been waiting for, my bold prediction. But before we do that, let's go back to week six's bold prediction, run it. All right, so Harold Landry didn't have the huge game that I expected with both Sharif Finch and Cameron Wake being out, but he still had a solid game with a stat line of six tackles, one assist, one tackle for a loss, but that tackle for a loss was not the quarterback, so he did not get a sack. Not one sack, not two sacks. Didn't get a forced fumble, but that's old news. Week six was so, so long ago. We're week eight now, so let's go ahead and press forward. Week eight, brand new me, and I got the answer this time. Week eight's bold prediction, Adam Humphreys leads all wide receivers, that's both Titans and Bucks, in targets and touchdowns. Obviously, the two touchdowns, that leads all wide receivers. You heard it here first. Join me tomorrow as I bring you the final active and inactive list and this week's keys to the game for the Tennessee Titans to beat the Tampa Bay Buccaneers at home in Nissan Stadium in front of all of our fans. Now, if you like, love, and want more of the Titan of Today show, show your boys some love. Click that like button, subscribe, click the notifications bell, get yourself an update for tomorrow's episode. And before you leave, why tighten up tomorrow when you can tighten up today?